hi beautiful people welcome back again to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a lump free semolina and if this is the first time you are coming across my videos and my channel you are most welcomed And in a clean pot, I added 4 cups of water and allow it to boil. I'll be using this anti-bee semolina, you can use any product of your choice. In a clean plate, I have 1 cup of water, I will go in with some semolina flour to make a slurry which will form the base of our semolina fufu. I'll use the spatula to dissolve it very well. And once the water comes to a boil, I will go in with some vegetable oil which will help the semolina fufuna to form lumps easily. After which I will go in with the slurry which I will use to form the base of our semolina fufu. And I will start stirring it immediately so that it doesn't form lumps. I'll keep on stirring it for about 5 minutes. This process is very very easy. It will help your semolina fufuna to come out with lumps. So after about 5 minutes, I'll start adding the semo flour bit by bit. And I will make sure that the burner is on a low heat. I keep on adding the semolina flour bit by bit until I can no longer turn it with one hand. Then I will stop. It's at that stage I know I've gotten the consistency that I want. Then I will keep stirring it. If this is the first time you're coming across my videos and my channel, please ensure you click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to like, share and comment on this video because you don't know who will find it helpful. So once I have gotten the consistency I want, I don't like my semolina fufu to be too thick or too watery. I like it in between. Once I've gotten the consistency, I will stop. And I will take out the spatula. I'll go in with some water. And I will use the spoon to create a hole in between the semolina fufu so as to help it to cook evenly. And I will cover it and allow it to cook for about 3 to 5 minutes. Afterwards, I will open it back and stir it to combine very well at this stage it has cooked very well after turning it for about two minutes on a low heat as you can see it has combined very well and it is so so smooth and lump free so are we stop turning it and turn off the heat because the semolina fufu is 
Ready. I'll take out the spatula. And I'll start molding it with nylon wrap. If you have been with me from the starting of this video up to this moment, you have done so well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And a comment and share for you don't know who will find it helpful. And to my already subscribers, thank you so, so much for always engaging. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to always be a peacemaker. See you in my next video. Bye.